Okay guys, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect to the database. First you need your PHP tag and then you're going to do string MySQL hostname equals localhost. Now on your actual web server, your paid for web server that you're going to use if you're not using XAMPP and I might have not gone over that I'm using XAMPP here and if you uh, want to know all about XAMPP, just uh, search my channel for XAMPP and it shows you how to install it and how to do things with that. But anyway, I'm using XAMPP and I'm going to be putting this on my remote server eventually, but for now I'm using XAMPP. And your XAMPP host name is going to be localhost. Now if you're on GoDaddy, this is going to be a long string of... Uh, something you're gonna have to figure that out through GoDaddy but most servers are localhost now your user on XAMPP you're gonna be root but if you're on your remote server you're gonna assign a username to your database and that's what you put in here if you have a database password and you're on your remote server which is how you're gonna be using this you're gonna wanna put that password in there but on XAMPP it's just blank so we're just gonna leave that blank now your MySQL database is groceries. Now you'll notice that I put G groceries here because I want to see that failure message if I if I don't connect. Uh, prefix, I'm not really sure what that's about. Uh, it's in this connection script that I had laying around. Not even sure what the BD. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, it's right there. But anyway, uh, BD equals MySQL connect. MySQL hostname, MySQL user, which grabs these variables from up here. And if it connects, then cool, it moves on. If not, it'll die, and then it'll shoot this message, could not connect database. All right, and then MySQL uh, select database is the MySQL database, which is this right up here, G groceries, which we know doesn't exist comma BD which is this that's where the BD comes in or die could not select database uh, otherwise if it works it's going to echo all good but we know it's not going to work because I've got a database name in here that is not correct now uh, the correct name would be groceries so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that G groceries since I know that doesn't exist I'm going to save that file as so now I'm going to go over here. I've called this connect.php and I've got a closing PHP tag at the bottom. Open and close and you can just look this up in high def and you can see what I've done here. Alright, now uh, let's go to our layout here and I'm going to type connect which I've already tested it so it's already in there. Now it's going to say could not select database. Now let's see which of those it was. Could not select database so it's the second one. So it found the host name, it found the user, and it found the password. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna just change the uh, user to our root, which I know doesn't exist. And let's see if we get a different message that time. Uh, nope, still could not select database. All right. So either way, that's irrelevant, pretty much. All right, so we know it's root, okay, and we know it's groceries. So we're going to save that as the correct connection string to our local database. Now, what we should get is all good at this point. So if we connect, we'll get all good. All good. All right, so now we know we're connected. So this is the connection string that you're going to use, and it's called connect PHP. So now, what we can do now is we can go to our index.php, which is going to be our template for everything else, and along with include header PHP, before we do that, we're just going to control copy that. We're going to move down the line. I'm going to put that like so, and I'm going to change this to connect .php. Now, on this, only need it to include once. So we're just going to say include once connect PHP. So we're going to save that like so. 
and this is going to set us up for all the uh, PHP that we want to use from here on out. So uh, we know that that's good. So we're going to go back here to our uh, index and we're going to refresh that. And we see that nothing's changed, oh, except for the all good. Now we know that that's included that because we have that echo all good. So, so that we don't see that echo all good, we're going to go over here to our connect file and we're going to take out this echo all good because we don't need to echo that anymore once we know that this file works. So we're just going to take that out. And this is your complete connect file right here. So we'll save that. We go back over here to our index page. And now when I refresh this, the words all good should not appear. Okay, it's connected to our database, so now we can put our SQL down in our main portion of our, our, our page. So that's what we're going to do in the ne very next video. And uh, to see this entire series, if you're not already on it, uh, just click on my channel name by just clicking on the name of the person who, you know, the lenfarnet.com under the video. And then you'll look for the uh, playlist and you'll look for the grocery, the dynamic grocery list, or whatever I decided to call it, playlist. And uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.